Hi everyone, this is the Lonely Bioinformatician and today I'm going to show you how to write a program in Perl that uh, gives you the reverse complement of a DNA sequence. So, to start off, let's go ahead and declare some variables. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, declare variable DNA, which is going to be our DNA sequence. And I'm going to have the user input what sequence they want. So I'll have this equal to standard input. Um, and I should actually give them a prompt as well. Um, so but just before this, I'm going to go ahead and say print what is your what is your sequence? Okay. So now that we have that, um, let's go ahead and declare our complement. So our complement is for now just going to equal um, empty brackets here. So once the user inputs their DNA sequence, um, we'll have to cycle through it somehow. So we're going to do a for each loop here, and we want to split that sequence. So we're actually going to uh, split it by character. And then I'll put what we're splitting is DNA. And here we're going to do some conditional statements. So we're simply going to say if our current, basically our current character in this case, instead of current line, is equal to a, then we're going to take our complement and we're going to concatenate the opposite, so A, B. Okay, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and copy and copy this line because I'm going to be doing this four times basically. Um, and I'm just going to change these to um, else if, so this will all be linked together here. Um, so here we want to do if it's equal to G, obviously, then we'll go C is equal to T, and then we'll go to A. And if it's equal to C, then we'll go to G. Um, and I'm also going to put an else statement. So um, a lot of times, like a FASTA file, or th they'll have a, the n character, which is like unknown, basically. Um, and if that's the case, I'm just going to have um, the complement. I'm gonna just going to add whatever that character was. So in this case, n will stay n. Um, I'm going to close off our loop here. And now let's uh, print out what we have. So first I just want to print out um, our, I'm just going to call it original. Um, let's see, original, and then I'm going to have our uh, DNA. going to print out the complement. Get that semicolon here. Very important. Um, and I also want to do the reverse complement. So here the, this complement is going to be in the 3 prime to 5 prime orientation. So I want to do opposite of that. So um, I'm actually going to create a variable up here that's just going to be a reverse complement. And I'm going to set this equal to 
can use key w the function reverse and then compound. So this will take that that string that's saved in complement now and just reverse it and save it to rev complement. And now um, so we'll call we'll just say yeah rev complement here. Let's test out, see what that does here. So I'm going to go ahead and save, and then let's uh, run it here. So what is your sequence? So I'm just going to put in here some, just a sequence like this, and let's see what we get. OK, so here we have our um, original sequence. We have our complement sequence. This seems to be working pretty well. Um, seems like I need to correct some formatting here, but just looking, it looks like this is the reverse of this one. So let me just look at that formatting and see what we can do with that. Um, You know, I might need to chop this right here. Um, yeah, um, let's give that a try. That that might solve our problems here. So let me go ahead and do it again. There we go, that looks a lot better. So I just forgot the chomp. Um, but this is much more readable, and we can see now that it is working exactly the way we want it to. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, and thanks for tuning in.